Okay, so we are going to take a look at different oil pastel techniques. Um, so you'll have this practice sheet here and you'll need to use your oil pastels, okay? So I'm gonna quickly take you through each of these and then you're going to try them out. Um, you can do them while you watch or um, you know, watch all of them and do it as well, okay? So um, the first thing that we're gonna do is light pressure blending. And all that is is basically mixing and blending colors together. So I'm going to be using this combination of colors right here and so all I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly, so I'm not putting much pressure down. And I'm going to overlap colors, okay? So let me show you something here. So you can still kind of see the white underneath of it. And then if I start with some yellow here and bring it across to that blue, you're going to see a little bit of color mixing happening, okay? So that's an example of light pressure. Now, anytime that you are using these and they get a little bit dirty, what you can do is just take a paper towel um, or like a scrap piece of paper and kind of like clean them off um, or, you know, just kind of wipe it off them, okay? So there's your light pressure blending. The heavy pressure blending is almost like the same thing, except you are going to um, you're going to start with that light pressure blending, but as you do with this, you are lightly going to overlap a little bit more. So applying more pressure, you're going to layer more. So this time, instead of just having like a, you know, this doesn't blend nicely together in the light pressure, the heavy pressure blending, we do want to blend nicely together. So I'm going to keep going over it. So now we have a much darker color um, and it really blends a lot better together as well, okay? So the next one we are going to do is scumbling and this is a technique that can kind of provide and mix colors together in an interesting way. So here I'm gonna start a little bit darker and I'm going to, it's almost like you're just scribbling. Then you might go a little bit lighter. You might even decide, and then you'll want to go over top and overlap as well. So that's just a good technique to add a little bit of texture and get some blendings of colors going together. So stippling is basically just like, um, oh, excuse me, sorry, make a tint, that's the one we're at. So tint is a color plus white, okay? And I'm gonna do a couple of different ones with this so that you can see it. But basically what you are going to do is you are going to start with the color. So I'm just going to start with lightly applying pressure with my oil pastel. And then you are going to go over top with white and it kind of smears it together, um, <coughs> making a lighter version of that. Okay, now I'm going to get color on there. So you'll definitely want to take care of that, wipe it off. So another thing too, that you might decide to do is kind of do light layers of it. So you might make a tint and then come back over with white. And then you might say, Oh, I want that to be a little bit more. So you can kind of layer these on top of one another. Same thing, let's use a little bit of a darker color. All right, so that's just blending by making, adding white, okay? So then a shade. A shade is color plus black. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use those same colors that I used here so you can see that. So now with this, the black really overpowers it. So I'm definitely going to need to go back over top with this color to blend and kind of use some of that heavy pressure 
blending. So this is gonna be more beneficial if you're using light layers of black. So let's go ahead and actually, for this one, I'm gonna just start with a light layer of black here. So then I'm gonna take my red and I'm gonna go over top and then I can kind of pressure blend that over top. And now we see we have a little bit of a shade. Now notice that it's a little bit streaky, okay? Um, so then you might actually say, okay, I need to go over with black to add in a more solid color depending on what you're doing. Okay, so there's my shade with that. And then here we'll actually do this with this darker color. So now that black it entirely covers over top of it, so I need to go back over top. So with the shade, I would work with um, light layers. Okay, so Scraffito is a super fun one. Um, and the word is very fun in itself. So I'm gonna first here just put down a background. Okay, so here I have a solid colors blending together, and now I'm actually going to, um, so you can really see it, I'm going to use kind of this black transitioning into, um, let's see, an opposite color. So I want it to be opposite of the colors that I have from underneath here. So I'm actually going to do half of it black, half of it red, just so you can see. So I'm just gonna coat really hard over top using that pressure blending. So it entirely covers this up. Okay, then I'll finish this last part off with red. So notice that maybe some of it's kind of blending together, but not a lot. Okay, so now what you're going to do to get that Scraffito technique is we're going to scrape this away. So you can use something like um, a toothpick or the back of a pencil, basically anything that will scratch away. So then what I'm going to do is I'm scratching away at this top surface and it's revealing that color that is underneath. So notice that this toothpick is a little skinny, so my lines are small. The uh, back of your paintbrush isn't gonna be as sharp, so you can still get some lines in there, but it doesn't see, go through as distinctly. Um, so you'll just need to find something that works for you and I'll have some different tools that you guys can use in the classroom too. So then let's take a look, or even if you use it on the side a little bit more, so let's take a look at how this looks over here. So you can see it kind of just adds a little bit of variety and depth to that final technique, okay? So now let's talk about stippling, okay? Stippling is uh, basically using dots, okay? So I'm going to use a combination of these colors here, and they're gonna overlap to do some optical color mixing. So watch as I get started with these. Okay, so notice even though I didn't um, blend anything together, where the colors overlap, it does kind of create this blending illusion. So you can get some really cool effects with this, okay? Um, we're gonna skip this oil blending one for now and we'll come back to it. But these bottom ones all have to do with mixing colors, certain types of colors together, okay? So this first one is to blend two complementary colors together. And there's a resource for you in Google Classroom that looks at, shows a color wheel. Remember, complement colors are colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel. So blue and orange is an example of complement colors. Purple and yellow is an example of complement colors. Green and red are also examples of complement colors. There are more that you could use, but I'm gonna go ahead and use blue and orange. So I'm gonna blend them together um, in a similar way as what I would do for my heavy pressure blending. But I'm starting off lightly. So I'm gonna start over here in the orange, and then as these colors come together, you'll notice that when you blend complement colors together, you actually get brown. 
and you can overlap. Feel free to experiment with different color combinations um, to see what that ha what see how that works. Okay, so blending two cool colors together. Cool colors, um, and there's also a document in Google Classroom for you to look at. Cool colors are our blues, greens, and kind of purples. Those colors that make us feel cold, okay? Maybe we think of like the nighttime. So I want you to practice blending cool colors together. So I'm going to actually do um, this purple and blue. I'm gonna use actually, cause so these are all considered cool colors. I'm gonna blend those all together. Okay, so I know that I use more than two cool colors, but you can see that they blend really well together. Um, and now I'm going to blend um, two warm colors together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use yellow and red. And this is why you have to clean out your oil pastels, just by wiping them off. So now when I overlap these, we'll notice that we have some color mixing that is occurring. So I've actually created um, the orange in the middle there with my warm colors, okay? So the last one we're gonna do is oil blending. You might not be able to complete this one entirely at home, um, or you'll just wait to, uh, I have some oil, baby oil that you'll use, that you can use at school. If you have baby oil at home, go for it. So for this one, I'm just going to actually use black and I'm going to do a black to white kind of um, gray scale. So now you can already see that that's blending together nicely, but baby oil is going to act like a medium to blend it even together more. So you can use your paintbrush or you can use something like a Q-tip. You just dip inside of that baby oil and I'm gonna start with my lighter colors and I'm going to start blending it together and it kind of turns it in to paint. So it doesn't really even look like a drawing medium anymore. Let me show you another combination of colors quickly. So if I do this dark purple to pink combination, so I'm gonna use a Q-tip this time. Q-tips, sometimes you get a little scrubby with it. So it kind of just blends together nicely. So for this one, you can save that one um, or you can just lay down the colors and then once you come back to school, you can try it out with the um, baby oil.